Hello there my friends, welcome back to the Scott Ree Project and today's episode is titled Give Me Some Skin. It's pheasant prep part 2 and this time we are going to skin a pheasant. If you have or have not seen my plucking a pheasant please check down in the comments you'll find the link a great way to pluck your bird but if you want to save some serious time because sometimes life is too short to pluck a pheasant you haven't got the time or you've got a load you need to get through this is the way to do it so i put the camera down on the block and we will get wading in how to skin a pheasant it's easier than you think so we've got our lovely noble pheasant the same method to start with as we did the plucking the wings one joint two joints just hold it through that flap of skin and you break through it just like that that wing was broke but like I said before this is wild game that's been shot so it's not all perfect off the supermarket shelf which is part of its charm again the neck leave a little bit of neck on for when we truss it at the end and then again on that bend of the leg just a little nick wind it round and you should be able to pull all the sinews out which makes the legs tough yeah 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 and then the same with the other one Wrap it round, that will expose the sinews and pull and again come here, done. Right I am going to pull the tail feathers out, come out simple, how beautiful they are, sell them to a fly fisherman or give them away, tying flies. Now couldn't be easier, pick up a flap of skin if you can't find any just expose a bit by pulling a few feathers away which is there as you can see pick up a flap of skin get your knife in and you've exposed it and just pull away from the breast as you can see there there's one leg One leg done, there's a leg again, easing it over and then grab a handful as you can see there and pull it over the tail, get your hands in. And then just up the back until you've exposed the wings as you can see there get your hand in release one wing you can see the damage and with tother and doing it this way you're pretty much keeping all the skin and the feather together then just strip it off those breasts, pull it over the neck and you can see how easy that is, how quick it is and we've kept pretty much all the mess in one place and that's it skinned. Simple as, just take your time Give that a wipe over, gut in. Okay to gut this as I did before just a little nick in there like I said two fingers up over the top tracing the breastbone down to the bottom till you reach the backbone as you can see here and in one movement pull it all out. And there she is. Check for those lungs. No, that's fine. Tidy up 
round its bum hole just by cutting away any of the nasty stuff. I mean if these have been hung as well you know it's going to be not a very pleasant job but if it was easy we'd all be doing it. So just check in to the neck as you can see there there's the windpipe I can separate it from the neck for you like that pull comes out in one we'll have a look in the cavity right I'll go and give that a swing under the tap and we'll truss it how easy is that what a beautiful thing right let's go and give this a wash so I've just given the pheasant a wash as you can see looks great now to truss it lift up the drumsticks pull them together now hold that knot and just go over that one hold the knot and go over the the other push it down below the breasts we're going to go under the wings as you can see keeping hold of the string just like that and then round the back like I said we keep that neck long because that is where we are going to anchor our knot give it a pull and tie it off couldn't be easier this can be used for all kinds of game or poultry and there you have with a bit of fettling a perfectly skinned and trussed pheasant ready for the oven and a great method you know on a lot of shoots they might have quite a few pheasants left or if you're a beater or a picker up you know they will offer you a brace or if you want more and this is a great method you know it's quick don't get me wrong and you know if you're a bit worried about the plucking although that method I showed you in my other video is spot on then you can always do it this way get them skinned get them trussed get them in the freezer but another cracking job so there you go then great British game at its best what a beautiful looking thing and if you've liked what you've seen here today on the Scott Reed project please click subscribe on that red button down there again find me on Facebook at Scott Reed or the Scott Reed project also on Twitter at the Scott Reed project or just click on those icons down there we can chat on there we can chat live with Windows messages any questions you have for me I will get round to answering you, not a problem. So that is it then, the finished product. Make sure you give this a go. Build up that beautiful stock of game for when the season's over. So until next time, take care, all the best.